What it do, y'all? This your boy King Air the Great coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and hit that like button for me at Off the Cuff Radio, as well as hit hit that like button and hit subscribe for Screwball Radio, which is coming real soon. So, I want to talk about was most Def's career a disappointment? I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down for y'all. Most Def is one of my favorite rappers. The man has. The to he's the total MC. The man knows how to make party songs. The man knows how to make conscious songs. The man knows how to make battle type songs. The man knows how to paint pictures with his words. He is a very gifted individual. I remember when I first heard most in 1997 at the Lyricist Lounge compilation when he first got on featuring my man Tash and Q-Tip. And I was like, man, this guy is incredible. Then I started following on a little bit because I couldn't really get a lot of underground music out here. So when Black Star dropped, people don't understand how powerful that album was to the underground. The streets had DMX, the streets had Big Pun, Noriega, Master P and No Limit, all them running it. But Black Star, that album there made cats put the razor blade down, pick up a cup of coffee. And hit up Starbucks with some headphones. That backpack music was dope. And Tyler Ben Most had such unique chemistry. I was like, man, this could be the East Coast Outcast right here, the way they were flowing. So you go into '99, Most Def is killing everything from the Sound Bombing album, which dropped in May of that year. You can hear him on the songs Crosstown Beef and The Next Universe. But that Black on Both Sides album, man, one of the coldest albums I ever heard. But then after that, we didn't really see a follow-up. And I think there's a part, there's a, some reasons why. He started getting a little more out there. When he dropped the No Danger album in, in 2004. I think the song Rape Over played a key role to why the industry don't really want to rock with most like that. Because most took a, a real ballsy stance. And he called out the, ex, the the crooked Israeli execs that run the rap game. He took the Jay-Z takeover and reflipped it as Rape Over. And he was going at all these corrupt execs. And from there... His career didn't really take off like it should have. Now, part of that could be possibly because he's the type of MC that doesn't want to be pushed into the limelight like that. And New Danger was actually a solid album. It wasn't no black on both sides, but it was a solid album. Then he dropped another album called Ecstatic, I believe. And we've been having rumors of a Black Star album for almost a decade. Any song them two drop is still dope between him and Talib. They still have the chemistry. But I think the Rape Over song is the key to why you don't hear a lot of most death around. Now he's supposed to do an album with Manny Fresh. That didn't come out. Then he signed the Good Music. He didn't come out with that. I think that's a reason why. And then again, it could also be that he's more interested in film. It could be. So I want to know what you guys think, man. What do you guys think was a hold up to why you guys didn't think most death career didn't take off like everybody predicted it? Because he had a great follow-up. He had a great startup. But in the mid to in the 2000s, it's just... He focused more on probably Hollywood and less on music. So let me know what you guys think, man. Rap to me. It's King Eric the Great signing out. Subscribe and hit that like button for me. How out your boy.